In this video, you will learn 20 of my favorite GNU's hidden features. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neta, and I've made over 20 videos about GNU's hidden features over on Instagram. Today, I'm compiling all my favorite tricks into one master video right here, so let's get started. How to import stickers in bulk to GoodNotes Elements Sometimes you have hundreds of stickers that you want to import and that can be a real pain. So this way, by opening a split screen and then opening the Files app on your iPad, you can select all from a folder and just drag and drop into the new collection window. What I did was go to a Google Drive folder which has all of my PNG stickers. Sometimes this can take a couple of minutes, but when it's done, you just click Create, uh, wait a bit, and then there you go, you have a brand new collection. If you go to Eraser Settings, you will see that there's an Auto Deselect feature that you can enable, and what this does is when you're erasing something, once the action is done, it will go back to the last tool you used. This one is actually an iPad feature, but I think it's really useful for GoodNotes. In a recent update, it was made so that you can copy a subject of almost any image on the internet and just paste it into your planner or notes. Instead of using the undo button, you can double tap with two fingers. Did you know that you don't have to be in view mode to click on hyperlinks in GoodNotes? Simply stay in writing mode, but click on a hyperlink and hold a bit until you see the open link button. In the past, you had to use the image tool to select an image. Recently, there was an update and now you can select an image no matter what tool you're on. There's also a new way to copy and paste things in GoodNotes. You can select an image, hold and drag over to get a copy. You can use the pen or highlighter tool to draw a perfect shape or create a straight line. Just keep holding the stylus at the end of the stroke. Instead of creating a new document from the menu, you can double tap the plus icon to create a quick note. If you want to move text that's in front of an image, go to the lasso tool settings and turn off images. Now when you give it a try, the text will move freely. Did you know that you can change the scrolling direction of your pages in GoodNotes? To do this, go to the settings by clicking on the three dots in the top right corner and try it for yourself, see what you prefer. I think that vertical is interesting, but I'm gonna stick to horizontal. If you have a lot of tabs open, here's how to close all of them but the one you're on. I've been asked on Instagram why my GoodNotes looks a bit different and that's because I turn off the status bar on top and I think it looks a lot cleaner. You can go to your eraser settings and turn on erase highlighter only and that's exactly what you'll be able to do. Change the location of the toolbar by going to document editing and changing the position to bottom. Another useful feature to use the elements tool is to open it in a split screen and you can just drag and drop the stickers directly to a page. If you ever accidentally delete a file or you can't find something you're looking for, check the trash bin because you can easily recover any page. If you're like me and you're not a huge fan of your handwriting, this one is for you. You can enable the scribble feature in the Apple Pencil settings and your writing will automatically turn into a font. 
you can actually really customize your Apple Pencil. If you go to settings, you can change what happens when you double tap. If I select show color palette, when I double tap my pencil, it will just pop up. You can create banner stickers using the text tool. Select the color, add a blank space and resize to how you like it. If you like this video, you'll love my freebie library, which has a lot of free digital stationery and make sure to check out my newest digital planner while you're there. Thanks for watching and see you later.